Hi guys, today I'm customizing a pair of Pinky and the Brain custom vans. In this video, I am only showing you the front. However, for the actual order, there's a lot of designs on the sides and the heels. Who else grew up watching Pinky and the Brain? It is such a fun, creative show. It was the early to mid 90s, I believe. It was just a great show that I grew up watching. I know a lot of my friends that are around the same age group as I also watched. In this video, I show everything from prepping the vans to paint, to using the Sorrel transfer paper to transfer your line work. There's also a lot of freehand. This is a very easy design to do over summer break with your kids, family, and friends. Here are the vans fresh out of the box. They still have the tags on them. They still have the original vans wrapping. I'm going to prep them real quick and then we can start on the pinky and the brain details. My first layer consists of Too Soft and Pale Blue. I am only putting the Too Soft on the fronts of the shoes. I am not using it for the sides. My mix felt a little bit too thick, so I'm adding a bit more of the Too Soft just to thin the paint out a little bit more. The correct ratio is actually 50-50, half paint and half Too Soft. Normally, I just eyeball it. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I have to add a little bit more. Time to heat set and you can purchase this exact same heat gun from the Endless Direct link down below. I am using the Sorrel transfer paper to transfer this line work. As you can see above, all you do is glue the images to the white Sorrel transfer paper and then cut them out and then place them wherever you want to trace the lines. I am starting off with a medium gray foreground. All of my paints today are from Angela Strict. These are really good paints. They work on leather and canvas. I used them on a wooden skateboard last week. They are an all round great product to have if you are into crafts and DIY. The blue chalkboard in the background is a mix of blue turquoise and the pale blue. I'm trying to create a gradient effect where it's darker at the base and lighter at the top. I'm dipping my brush in that original Too Soft Pale Blue mix because I have it. Just because it is mixed with the Too Soft does not mean it won't function exactly like the paint straight out of the bottle. I was originally going to use a Sorrel transfer paper to transfer all of these little scribbles and formulas on the chalkboard. However, I found it much easier to just do it freehand. I have a few math and chemistry formulas pulled up on my tablet. I am using that as reference. To create this gradient on the bottom of the chalkboard, I'm using a mix of mustard and pale yellow. Mm -hmm. 
you create a little bit of the light bulb light coming down. I am using the neutral from Angelus Direct. It is a completely clear color paint that they have out. I am using that to thin out the pale yellow and I'm just going to brush it on just beneath the light bulb. All right, finally time to paint pinky. I am starting off with the flat white. paint in a little bit of dimension on Pinky's fur. This is a mix of light gray and pale blue. Moving on to the brain, and this is a mix of Parisian pink, salmon, and white. I'm just trying to put in a little of the bright neon color in the ears, eyes, tail, and paws. All of these black outlines are done with a Princeton Select size 18 short liner. Adding a little bit of a shadow, this neutral mix is done the exact same way as the light bulb, this time mixing the neutral with dark gray and black. And these are the Pinky and the Brain custom vans. They are not finished. I'm doing a lot more side and heel detail as well as the finisher on the front. But this is a very easy project for you to do at home. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. All links to all products used in this video are down below. Big thanks to Angela Strick for the paints and thanks guys for watching.